Hi, welcome to Equipment Rental Agreement Android app. The app is provided by GRS Innovation. In this tutorial, we will focus on how to maintain the equipment inventory. So we have the third icon equipments. And inside this equipment entry panel, the app maintain all the vehicle or equipment inventory. At the bottom, we have a plus sign to add a new equipment. So I'll press it. On the touch, we see select equipment. Now, right now, there is a list where we could select the type of equipment from the list. But in the very next release, probably early next week, we will have it a free entry. So you could type a variety of equipment, for example, musical instruments, power equipments and tools, or various industrial equipments. So do. And then we could write the further details about the equipment with the serial number information and the description about the equipment. What the interesting focus is about the status. So as soon we make an entry, we see the green color available. What does it mean? So I will tap on the tank. The third option is status. And that is a very meaningful use of the status across the application. I will tap on the status. It will open variety of options. And that is the actual equipment status. When we create a new equipment entry, by default, it is set to available, which means it is ready for rent. But we can change it to any status based on the actual condition of the equipment. For example, if the equipment is in the maintenance or it is unavailable or damaged for some reason, we could set it to the one. So once we set it to damaged, it turns into red color and we can see to change the status. So visually, it will make it clear for anyone who's renting the equipment that this is not ready for the rental. Again, I'll go back to the status. And if we can change it to any other status, need service and repair. And when the equipment is fully done and available, then we will set it back ready for rent. And then it would appear available. Now that is the one place where we change the status of equipment. There are two more places where the equipment status change. So when a new agreement is created inside the app, the equipment status change automatically. So we'll go ahead. Both of them are available. And we will use one of them to create a rental agreement. Okay, so we go in the create agreement, we write the place of use, the pickup date, and then pick from the list or enter details. Go to the next page. There, either we can type a brand new equipment or we pick from the list. So we will take the tank, which is in available status. And there we would put the cost estimate. So we have number of choices based on per hour, per kilometer, a week, month, a year. We will say we'll take pay per month and a cost expected of $1,500 and for three months. And we would proceed. 
Now here comes the terms and conditions which are editable inside the settings. We can change any terms and condition, delete, add, new condition. And there we will take the renter signature, whoever is responsible for the leased equipment. And on press of generate button, it will generate a rental agreement. So here we have a new rental agreement with all the information, agreement number, the place of use. In the equipment details section, we have the type of rental, expected duration, cost, and the total cost with all the terms and condition. So this process completes a rental agreement. Now what we are interested in the status of that equipment. So we would go back to equipment and we'll check. Now the tank is converted to rented to customer. So the equipment is already out to the customer, which makes it clear that by mistake, we cannot use a wrong equipment to create an agreement. Even during the new agreement process, if we take it, we would see the new equipment status that would make it clear that, okay, this is not available. Now the tank, it shows rented to customer. That makes it clear that we cannot create an agreement to tank. So I will go back to the third place where the equipment status change. And that would be when the equipment is returned by the customer. So we would go at the last tab, which is return. And there, at the bottom right, we touch on the plus sign to receive a new return. So the application is expected that the customer has returned the equipment and we are receiving back in our inventory. So there we see that two equipment agreements are available. We will go on the top one on the 9th November. We click on that agreement. It will bring back the agreement number and the renter name and we can pull the tank back rented to customer we can write the person who received it and the equipment status so this is what we are interested at this session when we are receiving back the equipment we get the opportunity to inspect the equipment. If it is return or the type of equipment can be rented back without any cleaning or maintenance or any other requirement or check, we can set it back to ready for rent. Or if there is any follow up work required, we could set it as the receiver of equipment decide. In most cases, it could go to need service, repair or cleaning and go to maintenance. Or if there are any particular issues, it can be set it back to those status. Now we still have the rented to customer option because sometime the return of equipment may not happen the same time, but it may be out at the customer facility after the expiry of the date, we could still say the rent to customer. So I would put it back in maintenance or need service and repair for the cleaning purposes. Now remember this was in the status rented to customer before. And there we can write the notes related to equipment return. If customer has customer reported minor issues need to inspect it need to inspect it and we're gonna save this record so here we receive a new entry 
and it has the agreement number, all the details. And now if I tap on this entry, it gives me option to edit it back or delete it. So I'll go back and check in the inventory the status of the equipment tank. So here we are, we set it back to need service and repair. So now it is in the red color and it clearly tells that okay equipment need more maintenance or service before it can be rented back to the customer. So that is all in the session. You can go to YouTube and type the equipment rental agreement app tutorials and can see more videos related to it. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.